All right, let's get into this one. It's Morocco versus Spain. Morocco are currently one win, one loss always. on my stream, and Spain are currently just one loss, just a single loss. So they're going to try and get a win on the board. Um, and Samu, Samu, no, Zamu is playing with Mark by eight today. If you're going to be watching Dream at Valencia this coming weekend, obviously if you're watching this on VOD, then maybe it's already happened. But if you're watching this live, you can catch Zamu at Dream at Valencia. You can also catch Itachi at Dream at Valencia. He's the first ever African player who's going to be playing at a Rocket League Lands. That's really exciting. I can't wait to see that. Play with Mount Gang, Mount an extra. So they're obviously going to take the whole thing. They can definitely do well. Itachi's an absolute monster. Um, Zamu, I don't think he's... No, he's definitely not playing with Mark by 8 at DreamHack, so... These guys are uh, on rival teams over in Spain, locally. But today they're trying to put together their forces to put a win on the board international 2v2 style. Thanks, by the way, to uh, 6ZC Reptile 3. Oh, I already said thanks for that ridiculous name. <laughs> Cheers to the four months, though. Lulubi, thanks for five months, tier one. Welcome back. We've got Kilot. RL with the uh, five month tier one, six total. Welcome to you as well. Uh, we've also got no problem with the 10 month tier one. Appreciate all of you guys. Hope you're having a great day. Marcus, thanks for 100 bits. Cheers for that. It's a little ping noise. No Brian spam, but he wouldn't read out for that anyway. He only reads 250 bits. I'm getting too much spam before. Zamu takes to the air. He looks for a bump, but he actually gets it. Well played by Zamu. This is his debut on stream. Everybody else has played on stream before, apart from this guy. But he's done well here. Itachi leaving it up to Striker. But he didn't realize the impending doom that Zamu was bringing to the table 1 0 early on. Now, after we get this 2v2 done, I'm hoping I can get uh, another series casted today. Uh, I'm not sure what it'll be yet, but we'll try and get a couple in. Since um, it's doing a bit of an earlier stream today, I know it's been late in the past few days. Or actually, no, it was late yesterday. Then the previous two days, I didn't stream because I had hay fever. It was just so bad I couldn't stream. So we'll try and get a couple series in today, make up for that. Hey, thanks for the way, Classy VP99 for the two-month prime. Welcome back to you. It's a cracking start here for Spain. Mark by eight had the angle shot off kickoff. Locked in. You know, going into this one, I expected... Um, I don't think I made a prediction, but I expected Itachi and Striker to be coming out on top. We'll see if they can swing this one into their favor. These guys are two of the absolute best in the 2v2 rank ladder at the moment. I think Striker's top 10. It's actually one of the players who peaked above 2100 rating last season. Angle passed down for Tachi. Decides not to go for it. He should play by Zamu. Not much boost, but he's at least pressuring the ball here. Decides to jump off the wall. Fake jump by Mark. It looks like Morocco are content to back up here and start things from their own half once again. Very patient play though by Zamu. I'm impressed with what I'm seeing from him so far his on-stream debut and he's not looking too jumpy. That's just brilliant from Itachi, or from Striker rather. Look at this pass into the middle. Surprising the entire uh, Spanish team with a couple touches there, entire two of them. <laughs> but still very impressive stuff by Striker. It didn't look from Zamu's angle that he had another touch coming, but he certainly did. Zamu's got a lot of boost. He's going for a ceiling shot, double touch, looking good, Zamu smashes it in! And how about that for a debut? Showing absolutely perfect. He had to go quickly because there was a fast challenge coming in from Stryker. He slotted it in the back post, just inside the net. And Itachi had no chance. It's about as good as you get on your first ever showing on stream. Angle shot for Itachi, too slow. Mark just brings it down. I'm starting to see why Mark wanted to play with Zamu today. He asked for Zamu specifically because I asked Mark, hey, do you want to play uh, another twos match on stream? Uh, and he said, yeah, sure, let me just see if I can find someone. And this is the guy that he chose. I can start, you know, I'm starting to see why the defense with Zamu once again. Mark was in a bit of trouble there, but he's come back and helped him out. Striker on the wrong end of a 50-50. Itachi's run in and out the top of his goal to make sure that he's going to be safe from a demo. It's wide open for Mark in the air, but he's actually made a bit of a meal of it. It's not quite in yet. It will be in a moment. Zamu makes sure. And that, I think, is a hat trick on his stream debut. Very nice stuff. The camera UI is still up. Yeah, that's because I don't have... Uh, what do you call it? I don't have the 1, 2, 5, 6 memorized as to who's who. So I'll just leave it up for now. 
Like if I wanted to be really, really try hard, what I would do is take a photo of this 1256 on my phone and then I would uh, zoom in on it and put it underneath my monitor so that I can see it and you guys can't. So then I can hide it, but I honestly can't be bothered right now. <laughs> so I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it right now. For, can I, I'm going to do Croatia. I don't know uh, any Croatian Rocket League players, actually. There probably are some high level ones. I'm not familiar with them myself. Now, Samu is crushing it right now, but Mark is the one who just crushed the entire Moroccan defense. And is this just a complete repeat? Almost. A replication of what we saw earlier out of Mark on the kickoff. But it actually brings one back from Morocco. We didn't see a lot of uh, Zamu in this play, because I think Itachi's just dangled him pretty easily here. Yeah, mind game of sorts, but also Zamu not flipping the right direction. He could have gone straight towards the ball there and given himself a better chance of making contact. And Zamu gets dunked on. He's starting to get caught out a little bit in defense, but so far, so good overall. Large lead going into the closing stages. It's going to be 6 2 as well. Zamu with a solid hitbox in the ball, puts it on target. But even if there was a save coming in here for Natachi, it looks like Zamu would have had a really decent 50 50. And not too bad from him. It's his fifth goal, <laughs> by the way. One of the most we've seen from anybody on their first ever um, appearance on stream. Maybe even the most we've seen in a debut performance for 2v2. Holy cow, though. Striker to Itachi. It's actually to the top of the goal. You didn't really need to hit it that hard, it's actually. You almost broke the crossbar, mate. <laughs> it's hit Mark on the way in. Some really nice passing plays today by Morocco. You're from Switzerland. We've had Switzerland on stream before. They also took part in the uh, 3v3 Rocket League World Cup. It was Skyline, uh, Continuum, and Stocky back then. I think Skyline would probably still be your Switzerland captain based on recent performances that I've seen from all the Swiss players. Um, but yeah, they, they weren't able to get a W in their first and only 2v2 series that I've seen from Switzerland. I can't remember who beat Switzerland. Do you guys recall who that um, series was taken by? Somebody beat Switzerland. I can actually check. Uh, I've got a document with all this stuff. I think it was Saudi Arabia, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it was Saudi Arabia. Um, took the W against Switzerland. Zamu, a couple touches into the middle of the box, not read by Mark, but they don't need more goals right now. They just need to make sure that they don't concede any more with the clock ticking down, winning the game for them. I predicted Spain to get a win in their first and only other show match, the 2v2 that we've seen from them um, on stream. That was against Germany. They lost it because Germany, Germany popped off. And uh, have looked like one of the most impressive 2v2 teams, quite honestly. But uh, today I've predicted a loss for Spain, and so far they are proving me absolutely wrong. 1 0. And it's Zamu leading the charge in his on stream debut. Look at that, just out of nowhere. Production value to the maximum. Scoreboard just appears. Are any of you guys in chat going to um, DreamHack Valencia? By the way, can we get some V's in chat if you're going to DreamHack Valencia? Yeah, I guess any other letter will suffice if you're not. If you're not going, it'll uh, have to just be any other letter. Yeah, Valencia is one of the harder events to um, yeah, one of the harder events to get to for a lot of the Rocket League community. I don't think there's going to be many direct flights to Valencia from uh, America. I'm expecting it to be mostly locals or other European fans if they are there. Yeah, if you do get a chance to come say hi, be sure to do so. Love to meet all of you um, in any spare time that I've got between casting series. Good play by Mark. Very risky play by Zamu. Now that's probably the one time I've seen him really throw himself in for absolutely no reason. I mean, try, we try to think here of the, you know, the upside to doing something like this. Yes, there was nobody in the middle for Morocco defending the net. So maybe if Zamu gets a big dunk, he can transition into a shot for himself. But if he doesn't, if, like literally any 50-50 going badly is a goal for Morocco, so I'm not a fan of Zamu taking himself out of the game there. Zamu just not back in time to defend. Um, this mark was just coming out on the wrong side of a 50-50. Will I be going to resonate? No, I don't think so. I won't uh, be able to go to resonate in Glasgow. Maybe in the future. 
I'll uh, make my way over there. It would be a lot of fun. I don't know if they've got uh, like maybe the casting over there or what the what the deal is. I'll have to look into it. So let's see how Spain play from behind. It's a couple of easy early goals for Morocco already. They'll no doubt be looking to add to those as we go on. Mind game for Itachi. We saw it coming, but he had no idea. Rather, Mark had no idea. And that is just going to be all too easy for Morocco once again. It actually has done pretty well here, though, to just squeeze this one by Zamu, who was recovered in fast enough this time to at least get a touch on the ball. 3-0. This game is turning into a pretty one-sided affair. Much like the last one did for a while. Tachi shuts down Mark once again. Zamu turned back around. Attempt to double touch, but Stryker's there on the back wall. And they might have another chance on an undefended net. Stryker flicks it long. Mark just flicked his car the wrong way here. 4-0 for Morocco. And the recoveries for Zamu and for Mark were just not there. Nobody able to catch up with Stryker's shot. Is Saudi Arabia ever going to come back on stream? Yeah, I'm sure they will eventually. They are undefeated in 2v2 show matches for the EU server. Obviously, they're Middle Eastern team, but they play on the EU server very well. And thanks for the McClass VP99 for the two-month prime. I don't think I, think I said thanks for that one yet, but I do appreciate you. It's going to be a big test for Spain, who were really disappointed with their first series that they played, losing to Germany. No doubt today, we really wanted to get a W on the board, and what a win it would be against Morocco, one of the teams who have looked the most impressive recently beating Belgium in their debut together. Um, you are another team who have actually picked up a win since we started doing these international twos matches. Striker it actually just looks so difficult to get the ball past when they have a lead like this. And I definitely put that down to them being so good in 1v1 situations. Striker, if I'm not mistaken, is just a top five or so in ones or top 10 definitely in 1v1 at the moment. And it's actually, if he can, you know, put a bit more time into it, I'm sure he would get up there as well, because his mechanics are absolutely there. Solo plays, defensive ability, it's all it's all there. Not sure about his kickoff, that's the only question mark. You're doing SA teams. I've casted some Brazil versus EU uh, 2v2 matches in the past. We had Devo and Bluey against, I think it was Card and um, Math, or was it Card and Matix? I've forgotten who it was. Um, no, it's, wasn't it Kyo and Matix? Hard in math. Oh, I totally for, I've forgotten who I had. But yeah, we had, we had Kyo and I believe Math playing um, against France, if I'm not mistaken. And they weren't able to get the, the win there. <laughs> Double demo onto first striker, but it's actually still got the ball. Mark will keep him out this time, and Zamu runs it clear. It's 50 50. He's got a bit of a loan time. Spots. Mark in the middle, but can't get it past Itachi. He's paying close attention to everything that was happening. Yeah, we, it was Blue and Devo. So Blue and Devo beat Kayo and uh, Math, did they? I felt like it was France who beat them. Oh, what a save by Mark. They've got a lot more work to do if they're going to bring this one back, but that's exactly what you want to see from them in defense. Itachi decides against the wall clear. Felt like he would have been just giving the ball away for free. Ended up being Zamu's ball to play with either way, but clear that Zamu sent towards Morocco is not too difficult to deal with. The time is not working in Spain's favor at the moment. Did we have two or three um, Brazil 2v2 matches on stream recently? I've actually forgotten. It's, I, I believe it's two, but could be three. We definitely had card, math, Matix. All three of those. And Kyle, I think they were the four players that played um, on stream. We'd love to see King Card back on. Absolute monster. Okay, that's a really good kickoff. Nice demo though by Striker. Really important that he got that because if he didn't hit that demo, Zamu would have stolen the boost. And uh, Spain would have been back in offense. They are actually still in offense. Mark decides to fake a challenge. Striker does not want to come out on the wrong end of a 50 50 here. He's done well. But still threatening stuff from Spain in the closing stages. Zamu on the counter now. 
Another well-absorbed 50, but it's Strikers demos that are keeping Morocco in this one. Keeping them in control, and a long shot from Itachi surely puts this one beyond all doubt and ties up the series. Have they fixed spectator mode in tourneys? I don't think so. I don't think they have. Um, but I'm not sure about that, not going to lie. Not 100% sure. Maybe one of you in chat can confirm, but I don't believe it. I don't believe Twitch chat anymore. It's, everybody just wants me to make a tournament, so they say that it's fixed, even though it isn't. Um, but it's, I've not read any patch notes saying that the spectator glitch is fixed in tournaments, so it's probably still broken. As soon as it is back, we'll do a tournament for sure. Um, but yeah, we've got to wait. Um, I think it's just uh, causing a few problems for uh, Psionics, whoever they've assigned to fix that. It's proving to be more of a difficult issue than you'd imagine. Hopefully I'll be back soon. I know, uh, what do you call it? Sound like you're definitely aware of it. You're doing SA teams? What, is this South America or South Africa? I mean, South Africa, I don't know anything about the scene. I don't know who's good, and I don't know how good they are. This is the this is the issue that I, that I face when I'm, you know, inviting people to these show matches. Um, like it's, it's hard for me to know exactly how good a team is and I don't want to you know put a team under huge pressure inviting them hey do you want to come play on stream and then put them in a really awkward spot against a team that they're just not ready to face and they get collapsed and then everybody underrates them for the rest of their careers like, that just doesn't seem like a good idea to me so yeah we'll have to wait for now and see if uh, they can prove themselves and beat any of the teams who have been on stream recently Right here, little shot by Mark. Beautiful power striker. Not able to get uh, his car into position ready. Or in, in time. South America, like Colombia, Brazil, Argentina. Do Ar Argentina have got a few players in the, uh, the RLCS stage, don't they? Great pass by Mark. He's the one who's leading the charge in game three. Zamu puts in another goal. That's a fantastic effort by Mark. He saw Itachi up early, decided there's no point trying to shoot this. Just going to put it into the backboard as fast as he can um, before Striker gets back into defense to help out. And that's a great shot. Zamu just booms in another one, 3 0. And just like the last game, we've got a very one sided start to the match. And this time it's Spain coming out on top. Striker out of position. Zamu punishes him. Wins the RL World Cup. I don't really have the, you know, the resources myself or the time to put together an, uh, an actual LAN World Cup event, personally. But um, yeah, I would love to see that in the future. Oh my days! Where was this Spain in the last game? This is ridiculous. <laughs> Mark is just popping off right now. It's already four nil inside a minute, and Striker and Itachi have got a lot of work to do if they're going to bring this on back. I have to give credit to Spain, even though they went 4-0 down last game, they actually did pretty well bringing it back as much as they did. Uh, keeping it sort of competitive towards the end. Yeah, Zamu just really has to go for the ball there. That hesitation's cost them a goal. And now, <laughs> five goal game, another four seconds go by. This could be just another one, actually. Mark in an awkward spot. He's somehow saved it, but he's in an still in an awkward position. Itachi puts it in for 4-2. And with these kickoffs being so one-sided, we're just getting goal after goal. Great placement by Itachi. Mark with a panic. I think if he'd left it, Zamu would have had the clear. What is going on, everybody? With dead ball kickoffs combined with the cheats, really is creating quite a few opportunities for both teams. Mark's boost starved. He has to go all the way back. But Zamu makes sure to win the challenge while he's gone. Woo, get me on Johnny Boy streams. That's right. Oh, and almost a bump attempt, or certainly a bump attempt, but almost connecting by Mark. It'll be the first one he's landed this game. Oh, that's great demo by Zamu. Still, some work to be done, but Zamu with the bump sends Itachi out of the play also. Striker and Itachi are starting to look a little bit disorganized. Itachi doesn't get too much done here, and Mark puts in a fifth goal. Zamu running riot. He bumps uh, Itachi clean out of the way. Striker on the recovery. Only got a piece of it. It just goes straight into the goal. Why didn't you get Clay X? Well, I asked Mark to choose his own 
uh, teammate for this one. He decided that he wanted to play with Zamu. And based on what we've seen so far from Zamu, it's not a surprising choice. Zamu has been deadly in offense and composed for the most part in defense. Making life very difficult for Morocco, who previously have looked like one of the top teams, one of the teams to beat in the 2v2 scene. Striker with an open shot, and he puts it on target. We're already on eight goals inside the opening half of the game. Absolutely ridiculous scenes here in Manfield Night. Why are you guys trying to count? This is uh, the most outdated dead chat I've ever seen. Is this still, still a thing? Trying to count to 100. I thought you did that when streamers went AFK. I thought this was a... Like a, what do you call Twitch plays Pokemon type of stream thing. When will Firewall arrive in your live? Um, I don't know if, how Firewall's doing recently with uh, Rocket League performance. I hosted him the other, or you know, maybe it was the other day, the other week or something like that. A little wave dash off the flip reset, shoot the ball from Itachi, but not enough power on it. Flip is available for Zambu. Ball was running a bit too far away from him. Now it's an open net for. Actually, it's going to be Zambu. I thought Itachi was going to get the ball clear there, but did not make contact. Three goals scored so far for Morocco. They need two more. They're almost able to get one. Great recovery by Mark. Make sure that Zambu wouldn't be left alone in defense for too long. Yes, well done, guys. You're doing very well. I am proud of uh, your collective intelligence, for sure. More awkward defensive positions for Spain, but they hold on. It's so important to throw out all this so they don't double commit, because the second they do, they're going to be under a whole lot more pressure. Sam Yu, killing some time. He gets tackled by Itachi. It's not a favorable bounce, though, for Itachi. That allows Mark to come into the play and keep it alive. Striker not able to do too much when he was presented with an opportunity. It's infield again to Striker. He's slammed hard by Mark in the 50 50. 50 seconds left. Spain starting their authority here. That's Zamu looking a bit nervous in offense. A rare sight given what we've seen so far. And striker didn't make contact to Mark there. He's trying to run on ahead and get the demo. Even if he did, it wouldn't have made too much difference because the shot wasn't on target by uh, Itachi. He was coming up behind him. Oh, the suicide by Zamu, and that allows Mark to run in for 6-3. He just booms it clear, barely avoiding a demo in the process. And Zamu's sacrifice slowed down striker's momentum. Meant that Mark could get to the ball first. They are set to go ahead by two games to one in a series which I thought they were going to be struggling in. Certainly didn't expect them to be scoring so many goals. This is impressive for anyone to be putting as many goals past Itachi and Stryker. Uh, it's just going to be a Game 3 win. There's no way now for Morocco to bring it back. They tried to create some pressure. With about a minute and 30 seconds left, it was looking like they were the favourites to score the next goal, but... And it turns out Spain hold on, put one in themselves, and win quite comfortably. Renegade Cup monthly winner. What is the Renegade Cup? Should I know this? I feel like I should know what that is. <laughs> but I am uh, unfamiliar. Why are people writing numbers? I think they're trying to count to 100 or something. It's taking them quite some time, but they're getting there. All right, last uh, chance for Morocco. They need two in a row. Zamu and Mark have looked like the best generation of Spain 2v2 that we've seen on stream today. It's going to be double dominus for Morocco against the Octanes of Spain to close out this series. Unless, of course, Morocco can get this win, which looks like uh, could be happening. 100, yeah, well done, guys. You made it. Well, well played. Impressive stuff. Yeah, it looks like it could be happening if um, Striker and Itachi can keep up that start to the game they've just had. Tachi needs to flip reset here to reach the goal. He gets it. It is on target, but Marks following up Zamu's initially failed pass. That's good speed by Zamu. Straight down the middle, all tied up. After Mark slams it into the ceiling. 
bit risky there for Striker to be taking a 50-50 when Itachi's still on the recovery. You see Itachi didn't have the position to beat Mark to the ball or to beat Zamu to the ball, I should say. Pitch shot from Striker. Soft target. Now Mark Such isn't really going to accomplish too much. Zamu's dove in for it. That's an open net now for Striker. I wonder if she has missed. Zamu running on ahead. Looking for a bump onto Striker. He was close to getting it. it looked like Mark's shot was on target as well. So that would have been a goal had Striker not avoided the bump. Love you, Johnny. And positioned himself in the way of the ball. Just kidding. Hey, that was rude, Brian. Cheers, Jeff, for the fifth or the five months Twitch Prime. That goal is for you, Zamu, in a stream debut. Still popping off, looking like a deadly force in the offense. Striker, the player who's uh, got the highest rating in 1v1 in this, this whole lobby, just got soloed, and Zamu's making it look easy. Great change of direction midair there. Back of the car being put to good use from Itachi. Striker puts it down for Itachi again. Morocco equalize. Love that pass from Itachi. Let's the ball go across the top of his car before he flips. To get additional height and power on the pop. And then also stuck around to see if the center ball was coming. He didn't go all the way back into midfield. Take himself out of the game. To get awareness. Um, that predator instinct of Itachi kicking in. Zambia is looking for a bump on Striker, doesn't get one. Striker will try and make things difficult for them. Itachi looking patient, doesn't want to dive in. Zambia is not really committed too far for this play either. Everybody looking calculated in game four. This is a cleaner game than we saw last game. What on earth? That touch from Striker though. Itachi's up for the follow up. It doesn't get it. Now can Zamu solo striker again? So this time it's a, a part of this resounding no. Can also count to striker 100. slaps the ball clear. RL Yui, thanks for the four months bribe. It is very impressive that the collective Twitch chat IQ is enough to count to 100. Um, personally, I wouldn't have put my money on it. Uh, maybe not for our community anyway, but others perhaps. Itachi's got options here. He decides to go into the corner. And that doesn't look like it was the best option that he had in hindsight. Infield was certainly available. Zamu is clear. Not getting enough distance to take anyone out of the game. But Mark. Up early. Intercept strikers pass. The squads on both sides are struggling to connect to their passes in game four. First passing in 2v2. Always a risky affair. So far the best passes have actually been to the wrong teams. Um, let's see now if either team can put anything together. Striker and Itachi looking a little bit risky, I'm not going to lie. Some of the plays that impressed me most from them in the past have been their defensive awareness, but today they are getting caught out of position way too often. Mark is pouncing on a pass from Zamu. Catches Itachi off his goal line in the corner. And that's as careless by Itachi. He should be paying attention to both players there, not just the one who's looking closest to the ball. And he's got a wide open net though, and what does she he will secure? Zamu misses on his contact. That's some pretty bad kickoff synergy from Spain. If if Zamu wants that corner boost. There's no reason for Mark to be trying to kill the ball in the middle of the field. No reason for him to go for a hard hitbox in the ball. Should just be trying to get a glancing blow on it. So it's their own fault that they've conceded there. It might just look like a kickoff goal, but they're the ones to blame. They didn't try or adapt to prevent it. Zamu, good vision. He clears the ball, but it is still straight down the middle. The striker is up for the rebound, and he reads it, but Mark reads him. And we're all tied up with a minute 20 remaining. Great defense from Spain. Zamu's taking himself out of the game a little bit though. Mark's got to be careful. And he's not careful. He hits it straight into Stryker, but what a dunk that is by Stryker. It's red mark completely here. Off the wall as the shot is coming in and shoots it on target. That's just brilliant from Stryker. The player who scored the most goals for Morocco in two's show matches in the past. 
they really need him to be farming well for the closing match. That was possibly coming up after this should Spain fail to score. Well, now two goals. Chaos in defense for Spain. Strikers flick didn't look too amazing, but Samus just ran straight underneath the play, and that allows Hitachi to take it for free. Two goals in it, and suddenly Morocco are looking like favorites. They don't play like this in ranked. Who, who doesn't play like this in ranked? The, I'm imag I imagine you're talking about uh, Itachi and Striker. Sp oh, Spain. The uh, Zamu and Mark. Okay, interesting. All of them. Well, yeah, I think ranked and uh, 2v2 show matches are certainly really different. The main difference that I see from ranked and uh, 2v2 show matches is in 2v2 show matches, players are way more willing to go for aerial plays. Like way, way, way more willing. Ranked, everybody's so sweaty, just hiding behind the ball in defense and chilling, waiting for the safe opportunities to counterattack. But in show matches, everybody's going for flip resets. I mean, of course, they want to get the the most stylish goals possible to get the maximum, uh, you know, Twitter follower increase. Again, that W is also pretty important to these guys. Spain have yet to get one in a series on stream. Striker and Itachi have had one out of two attempts. They're all the annoying ball chasers, yeah. This, the the Spanish players, you know, they often get criticized for being ball chasers. Not really faking any challenges, just constantly pressuring the ball. Um, yeah, Tachi, after playing so much with Ferry Peak and Kato, um, and Alpha, all the other French players, they uh, have had the influence on him as well. But I, I mean, out of these two teams, I would say that the, the in, in ranked, you're probably going to get more aggressive play out of. Spain, and you're going to get more passive play out of the Moroccans, but it's not always the case. I mean, in this series, it's been just kickoff pressure goals mostly, um, but all tied up. I can't complain. Going to game five is definitely what you want to see. Uh, first killer won't be on uh, later, maybe. I think he's busy right now. I don't know. You know, I've got to stick with my initial prediction. Itachi and Striker, I said they were going to win this uh, going in, and I've been impressed with Mark and Zamu today, especially Zamu in his debut. Very deadly offensively and looking composed in defense. Beautiful wave dash dribble by Itachi. He's left Striker alone in the back for a little bit. Striker does well. Mark, on open net after the bump from Zamu, and he puts it in from way above the goal. I mean, this, as far as open nets go, this is one of the more difficult ones to score. But he didn't waste any time. He's making it look easy, really. 1-0. Now, Spain in the games they've won have taken massive leads. I think they had a 5-1 lead in game two, or game one, rather. And an early, early 4-0 lead in game uh, number three. So that's what you're looking for in Spain if you want them to get the series win here. Don't want to stop until they've got a massive lead and then just hold on to it. Zamu is going to make it two and it is going to be Spain starting strong. Striker a little bit out of position. He just didn't have the boost to get any effective challenge in. He misread what Zamu was going to do. He was expecting a ball carry there. Zamu's flicked it early. I mean, if you're wanting to counter ball chasing the defense, that's what you do. You just flick the ball early. Just get it moving. Let the ball do the work for you. That's what Itachi and Striker have just done to Spain. Mark not getting much of a hit on that. That's not really the best play by him. We've seen some kickoff goals from Spain from that exact same position. Mark's got to just make sure not to pass I the ball you, away Johnny, there. You. Hey, Johnny, even if he doesn't all score. The love and support to you. I am a big fan. Love oh, you and keep the Amurai, good work 97, thanks for the 500 bits. I'll try my best to keep up the work, mate. Join the International 2's series whenever we get the chance to cast one. Of course, they're a little bit harder to organize because you need twice as many people. Um, they got to be the same, same nationality. But when you do get them, it's always interesting to see how the teams match up. You never know. Maybe in the future we'll get to watch uh, an actual tournament of 2v2 teams. I think the EU server is where that would have to happen because uh, the Saudi Arabian... Uh, players can play, uh, Morocco can play, probably another few countries that can play that aren't actually from Europe. But Mark makes it 3-1 here. 
after Zamu dove in with a really aggressive dunk attempt. I'm certainly a little bit surprised to see him going for that with uh, just a 2-1 lead. Why do I hate free cam? Well, this camera, auto cam. Well, I don't like how, how limited the information is. Look, at any one time, we don't know what is going on, really. Like, is there a challenge coming in? Is there a uh, defender trying to make goal line saves? Like, you get a lot more relevant information using director or using uh, player cam if you're actually good at using player cam. Because players in the, the, high, in the high level of Rocket League are pretty good at keeping tabs on um, what's going on in the lobby around them. Teammates' positions, opponents' positions, where the ball is, what they need to be doing, like where they're going. So that's why I rely mainly on um, player camera. Oh dear, Zamu just flips past the ball twice. Itachi misses his open net. Mark gets it slotted away, but only as far as Itachi. That is going to be a three-all score. Zamu panicking and didn't do enough there. It's enough this the is ball just clear. some extra love, so you remember me less than three. Close less stuff than in the end of this Johnny series. Matches and would love to be in one XT. I'm already in 97. Thanks for another 500 bits, mate. You never know. Maybe one day. Best of luck on the RL grind, buddy. Great power on the shot from Zamu, but at the distance, from that distance, you don't really favor him in a you know, one v one against striker. Demo by Mark, but Zamu's been taken out of the frame by striker behind him. It's good ball chasing by Mark as he rotates out here. He didn't want to leave that ball for striker Natachi to dribble uncontested. This is risky. All these center balls are going straight in towards the Moroccan defenders. Spain have got to be so careful. That's an uncontested aerial. Zamu relying on the angle to prevent Itachi from scoring. Early flick. Let's get dunked on this time by Stryker. It's the right idea by Zamu, but the execution just wasn't quite there. Struggling to control the ball. At the end of this one, and again, he's just popped it off the sidewall. He gets a bump, but Stryker's there to finish it off. And Zamu in the last game here is just not getting the touches that he's looking for. The bump was smart to take Itachi out of the game, but he could have avoided that entirely if he played the ball off the curve rather than popping it straight off the wall. First touch has not been there at times. For Zamu in the final game, Mark awkwardly in goal with 10 boost. Zamu tries to come in and help, and it's locked down field. Zamu's there. Saved by Stryker. He's got up early into position. Minute and 24 left. Spain behind by one. After leading 3-1 early on, they're going to be really disappointed with anything short of a win in this series. But it's a chance for Zamu to remedy all the mistakes, but Stryker stops him. And now Itachi's going to put one under the counter. That's just so close yet so months. far for Spain. That's probably ours. Zamu's power make should have been better on that shot. The placement should have been better. You can't give Stryker that much time to see where your shot is going. He's just too good on the goal line. He's always going to save shots of that pace. <laughs> to actually with a close one, you know, he might want to save the quick chat for now because with how many goals we've been seeing this series, this is not yet over. But Spain have conceded the last four in a row. Zamu, although he started off so strongly in this series, has been struggling towards the end. Morocco's experience is coming in clutch. Mark lobs it back towards Itachi, but it's an easy clear for Itachi, and there's no boost for Mark to play with. 30 seconds left for Morocco to hold on, and it's Zamu getting caught out of position again. Close one sees Itachi. He's feeling like dropping some BM towards the end of this one. Striker and Itachi just knew that there is no reason there to be scared of Zamu's position. There wasn't a way that he could put a challenge in effectively, so they were just diving forward, both of them together didn't matter. If they're both in the same spot, the opposition can't do anything about it. If there had been a little bit more composure for uh, Spain at the end of this one, I think they would have had a real chance of taking it. But Morocco have been just that little bit better in the closing stages. They saved the best for last, there's no doubt about that. And it's a comfortable win in the end. GG's says Mark. And uh, that's going to be 
the confirmation as the ball hits the ground. 3-2 for Morocco as they keep Spain uh, on a zero win tally in on stream 2v2 series. Greasy J Walls, Magnus Metza for Norway versus Finland. Everybody wants to see Finland versus everybody. Magnus and Metza are just that good in uh, 2v2. 